In this podcast episode, David Liebenson talks about his journey from a rough childhood to becoming a successful entrepreneur. He shares that he was on his own since he was a teenager and started his first business with a few thousand dollars from a tax return. He turned this into a multi-million dollar company and then invested in a phone case company, which eventually led to the development of an app called Sensogram. The Sensogram app was designed to automatically and remotely monitor and remove comments from social media feeds. It gained attention and caught the interest of Kim Kardashian, who reached out to the team to discuss a potential partnership. Liebenson and his team were initially hesitant about working with the Kardashian family due to their public image, but after a conversation with Kim Kardashian, they were convinced that it could be a positive collaboration. The team had a meeting with Kim Kardashian and her family to discuss the partnership. They negotiated a deal where the Kardashian family would provide funding for the app in exchange for a percentage of ownership. Additionally, they pitched the idea of a separate app called Kimoji, which was a smartphone app with Kim Kardashian-themed pictograms. This app was also well-received by the Kardashian family. Despite the promising partnership, Liebenson and his team faced challenges with Instagram, the social media platform where the Sensogram app was intended to operate. Instagram was initially against the idea of allowing users to censor comments, but after the Kardashian family's involvement, Instagram implemented a similar feature, which led to the downfall of Sensogram. Liebenson expresses frustration and a sense of betrayal as he invested over a million dollars into the app and had filed a patent for the technology. He feels that Instagram's actions were a result of corruption and that they used the technology without compensating him or his team. Liebenson reveals that Kim Kardashian's team threatened legal action against him and his partners, claiming that they had violated a non-disclosure agreement regarding Kimoji. He explains that a friend of his partner sent a text message that was used against them to sabotage the deal. This led to a series of legal threats and ultimately a settlement offer, which Liebenson refused. The situation took a toll on Liebenson, leading to depression and feelings of anger and betrayal. He describes how the experience affected his personal life, including his relationship with his wife and his mental well-being. Liebenson also shares that he contemplated giving up at one point due to the overwhelming challenges he faced. Liebenson explains that he decided to create a website KimKardashianRuinedMyLife.com to bring attention to his story and seek support. He also discusses the documentary that was proposed to him, which further motivated him to fight back against the injustices he experienced. Despite the difficulties, Liebenson emphasizes the importance of standing up for oneself and not giving in to the pressures of powerful individuals or entities. Liebenson talks about the Kardashian curse, which he describes as a pattern of people being negatively affected after getting involved with the Kardashians. He mentions that he has received emails from others who claim to have had similar negative experiences with the family. He suggests that the Kardashian curse is a result of the family's influence and power in the business world. Liebenzone shares that he faced financial struggles, including being homeless and working odd jobs to make ends meet. However, he received support from a company that sent him a care package, which led to a new opportunity for him. He emphasizes the importance of going back to basics and focusing on what makes sense, rather than solely pursuing financial success. Liebenson reflects on the events and acknowledges that while Kim Kardashian had the right to not want to do business with them, the fraudulent and corrupt actions that followed were unjust. He expresses a desire to address the situation and seek resolution, emphasizing that he does not harbor hatred towards Kim Kardashian and her team. Liebenson shares the lessons he has learned from his experiences, including the importance of not making decisions in the heat of the moment and the need to be cautious when it comes to trusting others in business dealings. He also emphasizes the temporary nature of depression and the importance of giving oneself time to make decisions.